Alright, so how are we doing today? So today I'm talking about uh, the Herbie Hancock song, Cantaloupe Island. Um, this is sort of what I call like a Goldilocks uh, song because it's not too hard and it's not too easy and it's challenging in a way and it allows you to sort of make it as easy or as difficult as you want to, okay? Um, now, um, the song is um, based just on four chords. F minor seven, four bars, D flat seven, four bars, um, D minor seven for four bars, and then F minor seven again for four bars, and then it's gonna go back to the top, okay? Now, um, sometimes you have to become a child again to understand some of these songs, right? So if you were like, you know, just started off playing guitar and, you know, you didn't really have know too many scales and things, what would you play over a song like this? I think you might want to play like an F minor pentatonic scale and see how that works over the whole thing. You know, if you didn't know anything about music theory. And that kind of thinking isn't bad for music a lot of times. Um, and in this case, over that F minor chord, I'm gonna suggest that for starters, you play the F blues scale, okay? And you're gonna find out that for that D flat seven chord, that F blues scale is gonna work good there too. Why? Well, just because lots of the notes that you would play on a D flat seven chord are in that F blues scale. Besides that, you know, we always have the blues factor in music. So if you were playing like an F minor blues, um, you know that instead of going to the five chord, a lot of times it can go to the flat six chord to the five chord. That's common in minor blues, right? And that's sort of what happens here. If you think about that F minor chord as the one chord in an F minor blues, that flat six chord would be a D flat seven. And so that's why it works, right? Because you sort of hear it like a blues a little bit. Now it doesn't go to C seven. From that point, it goes to D minor seven. So you have to rethink a little bit there. But um, take my word for it, F blues is gonna work over those first two chords. Be careful of the C note in that F blues scale over that D flat seven chord. It's, that's weird, but in passing, it's okay. Um, mo the majority of the notes in that scale are going to work, okay? Uh, now, how about just for the sake of sticking with the same concept, how about over that D minor scale, I mean that D minor 7 chord, we just play like a D minor pentatonic scale, just to stick with the same concept. And this is okay. This is not a bad way of doing it, okay? So I'm going to suggest we start there. So I'm going to play it and let's see what happens, okay? Next up, another thing that you can do is you could just think about that D flat seven chord as just D flat seven and think of like playing blues over that. And let's see how that goes.
Okay, so uh, now this is okay, and this is going to work pretty good. And it really grounds the song, in my opinion, because you, when you listen to Herbie, they're playing a lot of this kind of stuff in there. Um, so this is not wrong by any respect. Uh, but let's say we want to jazzify it a little bit more. Well, then you think about that F minor. I'm sorry. Yeah, you think about that F minor seven as like an F Dorian sound, okay? And you just play F Dorian on it. That's, that'll work great. And now what do you want to do about that D flat seven chord? Well, you could get a really cool sound by just playing D flat Lydian dominant, okay? And then for the D, well, you can just play D Dorian there. That would be perfectly fine. Um, so, and then don't forget, anytime you're playing Dorian, you also have the three minor pentatonic scales on the root, the second, and the fifth. So for F minor, you got F minor, uh, you got G minor, and then you got C minor, okay? And then for that D, you got D, E, and E. A minor, right? So these are all perfectly fine possibilities. So let's listen and see what that sounds like. So there you have it. That's Cantaloupe Island. Um, now, remember, you can combine all these things in different ways. You know, you get a nice down-home sound from uh, the blues approach, and then you get a, sort of a sophisticated jazz sound from that other approach. But you know what? When you mix and match, you sort of get a, a contrast that's going to be interesting. All right, so um, if you want the PDF, uh, you go get it at Patreon, and uh, the backing track is there too. All right, so... Um, don't sell this song short because it seems easy, but um, when you play it, you realize that uh, it's a little bit more complicated than you would imagine, and you have a lot of different approaches that you can use, okay? So uh, give it a try and let me know how it goes. <laughs>